Hello, it is 2 a.m. on Friday, April 21st, 2023. Um, I'm planning on doing the 4x4x48 challenge. This is running four miles every four hours on the hour. And I will be doing this for 48 hours. So a total of 48 miles over the next two days. Um, starting now, 2 a.m., it will be um, quite, quite an experience. I think this will be challenging but doable and I think I'll learn a lot about myself. Um, my plan is to document this along the way. So at the end of each leg, I'll give a little update as to like how I'm doing. Um, and yeah, if you wanna join me, if you're watching this live, please let me know. Uh, running at 2 a.m., 10 a.m., 6 a.m., uh, 2 p.m., 6 p.m., 10 p.m., etc. So feel free to join me, send me a message if you want to. And um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> see you soon. Hello, it is 2.40 a.m. Just wrapped up the first leg. Um, feeling pretty good. I mean, like, there's not too much to the first leg. It's supposed to be, like, feeling pretty easy, and it indeed is. It felt quite easy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I'm gonna go get some sleep right now. My goal is to sleep for three hours before the 6 a.m. leg, so that doesn't leave me too much time, but yeah, looking looking forward to this. I'm gonna go stretch and catch some Z's. See you at six. Hello, it is uh, 6.43 a.m. Just wrapped up leg two. Um, yeah, it was, it was okay. I think like there was some inertia for leg two, like just starting the first lap I ran at like 9 30 pace which is quite slow and then I picked it up after I mean it was just like just hard to kind of get going again once I got back into the swing of things like it was it was good um right now like I feel pretty good still in good physical condition um I wanted to share a little like mental framing that I like from for our, like thinking about running a marathon um, is that it's three things. It's mind, it's body, and it's heart. So the first third is mind. You have to pace yourself, be really cognizant of your limits and your pace. Second part is body. Like the second third is that you'll use your strength to push through. And the final third is heart. Like at some point your legs are super tired and your mind is mush, but you have to keep pushing through. So um, now this will be the journey right now. We're still in the mind phase, the first third of this four by four by 48 challenge. Um, but soon I think my legs will catch up to me and we'll be in the body phase. So anyways, looking forward to it. Uh, another successful leg. I'll see you guys at 10. Hello, it is 10.38 a.m. on Friday, April 21st, 2023. Uh, just finished up leg number three out of 12. Uh, this one was like markedly harder. I think like I was definitely feeling it. Like I, if I could push through it, but like my legs are officially sore. So I think now we are transitioning into, as I mentioned last time, the body portion of this 4x4x48. Four by four by um, it's hot now, it is sunny and beautiful. I took a different route. You'll see in the next, like the little screenshot of my route, the map looks totally different. Um, it was nice to explore campus and like see actually like, people walking around. So it was super good. Okay, one question I've been getting like actually a lot is why are you doing this? Um, that's a great question. Um, I think that like discipline is a muscle. It's like I have other goals and ambitions other than like running 48 miles and you know, four hour increments, whatever. Uh, but my my point here is that this is gonna be hard and I want to prove myself that I can do it. And then when I need to grind out things that are aligned with my goals um, that I don't necessarily want to do, like, trust me, it'll probably be easier than this. So I think that like doing hard things and like this is sort of voluntary discomfort is definitely good. And I, I have many other areas, people who know me will, will know that there's many other areas of my life where I introduce voluntary discomfort. Um, this is just another one of them. Um, a particularly challenging one at that. So anyways, I'm gonna go in, uh, get some water and eat, but I'll see you at the 2 p.m. lap. Hello, it is 2.53 p.m. on Friday, April 21st, and just finished the fourth leg of the 4x4x48. Four by four by um, so in this leg, I ended up running with my friend Adam um, and 
did not manage to track the first 10 minutes of my run. So I ended up like just running four miles plus 10 minutes. So that's probably like about five miles. Um, in the spirit of the challenge, I figured like I might as well just go for it. So, and run the fifth mile. So I ran an extra mile. Um, it was, it was rough, but thanks to Adam for coming out. Um, I think I will get some rest and be ready to go for the next leg. So I'll see you then. Hello, it is 6.43 p.m. on Friday, April 21st, 2023. I just wrapped up the fifth leg and yeah, it felt pretty good. Like my legs were sore. This is like nothing crazy happened on this. I like, I ran a good pace, um, ran exactly the route I was planning. Um, I mean, yes, I'm sore, but I think that is to be expected at this stage, so. Um, yeah, I've got 20 miles down and 28 miles to go. So on to the next leg. I will see you at the 10 p.m. run. Hello, it is 10.44 p.m. on Friday, April 21st, 2023. And just wrapped up leg six. This one was definitely fun. Um, really enjoyed it. I think I'm equally like physically tired as the last leg, but um, I ended up running with my friend Sambhav. Um, we had a great conversation for the first two miles. Um, then he dropped off. So our pace was a bit slower for the first couple of miles, but then I picked it up at the end. We ran like 10 minute pace for the first couple of miles and picked it up to 8.30ish for the last two. So super fun. Um, trying to decide what to do. I don't know if I'm tired enough yet to, to go to sleep before the 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. leg. Um, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, just gonna go stretch it out. Uh, this was this was a fun one. I'm looking forward to the 2 a.m. All right, I'll see you. Hello, it is 11.03 p.m. on Friday, April 21st, 2023. Um, I just wrapped up uh, maybe like 10, 15 minutes ago, like six out of 12. So this is good news. I'm halfway through the four by four by 48 challenge. Um, it has been quite uh, different than maybe not expected. I don't know. First couple legs were easy. Um, leg three is where it started to get hard. Uh, my legs started to get sore, etc. cetera. Um, since then, like my legs right now are, are quite sore as I'm pacing around, but I think this is expected. I'm, I've been pushing through it. Um, this last leg, leg six was really, really rejuvenating. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, just a couple things. I, I have been updating my Instagram. So check out the same handle at real Raj Prabari on the story and in the highlights. I've been posting after each leg, like a little updates. And um, I've also been putting like the maps. So if you're interested in looking at the more granular details, check that out. Um, yeah, I had a couple of friends join me today. That was super fun. I, I know I have a couple of people who will be joining me tomorrow as well. If you want to join me on a run, let me know. And yeah, I hope to be giving you a similar update uh, tomorrow at this time, saying that I completed the four by four by 48. So anyways, until then, um, I have a lot of running to do but I will be seeing you tomorrow. Hello, it is 2.43 a.m. on Saturday, April 22nd, 2023. I just got back from my seventh leg of the 4x4x48 and uh, ran with my friend Cole, shout out to Cole. Um, he ran two miles at like a super solid pace with me, had a good conversation with him as well. Um, that also helps just, just to make this a little bit more fun. Um, this leg was fun. I, I was noticing that like my legs are still sore, but I think that the actual difficulty of the run, like given the condition of my legs, has not increased by like since leg three. So it's about as hard as it was at leg three. Um, it's just like continuing to get out there has been has been tough. So anyways, I, I did wake up like three minutes before this run. And I'm, I'm pretty tired still. So I'm just going to probably go stretch and go back to sleep but I will see you at 6 a.m. for the next leg. All right, bye. Hello, it is 7.03 a.m. on Saturday, April 22nd, 2022, 2023, sorry. Um, yeah, this, this leg was quite problematic, I would say, um, in a few ways. The first was it just got off to a bad start. I woke up at like 6.20 and just jumped out of bed and got out. 
so this was a problem um just because like i'm coming into this knowing that the next leg is going to be really rough um because i'm going to run that at 10 and i just have less time to recover like that that half hour or 20 minutes like really does I th in my estimation make a difference it's going to make it hard to eat now etc um also i'm uh, just quite tired like i'd sleepy tired um yeah th this was this is a tough one um yeah and then with with all these things it was just getting really hard to keep the pace the 845 pace i was like super struggling like i ran my first mile at like 920 pace and then i ended up blasting some music and re getting myself back on the path that like this is my chance you know i i can i can do this like, i can't accept defeat yet um there's still more in me and so i just listened to like lose yourself by eminem and just grinded it out and so i managed to keep up the pace which i'm really proud of but boy i am physically tired so i am gonna go stretch head to sleep um one of my friends is joining at 10 a.m which will be nice I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Hello, it is 10.43 a.m. on Saturday, April 22nd, 2023. Just wrapped up leg nine out of 12. So that gets us at 36 miles. Um, I had two friends join me. So this is, this is a fun one. I think like we actually picked up the pace like more than we maybe should have but it was okay it was super fun so shout out to quinn say hi quinn hi hi raj his followers <laughs> and also izat who ended up taking a different route back but shout out to izat as well for joining um yeah gonna go eat some lunch now um and i will see you again for leg number 10 out of 12 at 2 p.m see ya Hello, it is 2.45 p.m. on Saturday, April 22nd, 2023. Uh, just wrapped up leg 10 out of 12. So um, super exciting. I, my friend Angel joined today um, for this, this one. Uh, that was nice, that was super motivating. Again, we, we pushed the pace a bit um, this time. We got like, I think like 8.15 average. So super nice. I mean, having someone else with me definitely motivates me. So um, yeah, I've slept a lot. I think I've, I've said after like every story that I'm gonna go um, take a nap. I think I'm not going to nap this time. I will um, eat a little bit and then do some work. So yeah, this is this is a good one. I'm looking forward to the 6 p.m. run, leg 11. I'll see you then. Hello, it is 6.44 p.m. on Saturday, April 22nd, 2023. I just wrapped up leg 11 out of 12. Um, getting close to the end. Um, this one I did run alone indeed, um, but it was it was good. Like, I think I needed to do one alone. Um, definitely in the like, I, I've made this like distinction earlier between like mind, body, and heart as like the skills that you need to run um, a long distance. And definitely think that I'm in heart territory right now. Um, my pace was like way faster than it really should have been. Like, given how sore I am, my legs are definitely hurting. Um, I'm very fatigued, but um, I don't know. There's something inside of me that's just pushing. So anyways, I'll see you um, soon for leg 12, I guess 10 p.m. I'm gonna go eat some dinner and I'll see you then. Hello, it is 11.03 p.m. on Saturday, April 22nd, 2023. And I did it. <laughs> um, we won the challenge, I, I finished Leg 12, 48 miles, 48 hours. Um, oh my gosh, I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. Like this, I woke up and it just like, I, when I was going out on this run, it just did not feel real. It just felt like a, like a movie. Like, I, I can't actually believe that I did this. Um, and I wanna just thank everyone for this leg. Angel, Thomas, and Jay, thanks for running with me. That, that helped me so much. Um, everyone else who's run with me along the way, give me support. Really, really appreciate it. Like, I'm, I, it's made it so, so much easier with with all of your guys' help. So, thank you so much. You don't know how big of a difference it makes. Um, yeah, I think my biggest takeaway uh, for 
all of you is that you can do you can do it basically you can do anything you set your mind to like honestly i had no idea if i was going to finish this as i said this doesn't even feel real but like your mental limit of what you can do and your actual limit is way higher so just push through it i mean you got this chase your dreams um i i mean this all sounds cliche i know but yeah uh i'm gonna i don't know go like stretch um yeah i guess tomorrow it's just a, a regular day i mean there's no trophy at the end of this but um i'm glad i finished super satisfied it's all the internal motivation and yeah that's that's all i'll see you soon hello it is 202 a.m on sunday april 23rd 2023 um so i completed the 4x4x48 challenge um ran four miles every four hours for 48 hours but here's what i'm thinking it's been 48 hours since i started and it's been four hours since i ran my last four miles um it's 2 a.m i i kind of think i need to do another leg another four miles um for the challenge so in the spirit of the challenge i am going to run leg 13 out of 12. um yeah this this will be interesting i i really laid it all out on the line for leg 12. um i don't have much left in me my mind is tired my body is tired we will see what happens but onwards i go i'll see you after the leg Hello, it is 2.43 a.m. on Sunday, April 23rd, 2023. Um, I just finished leg 13 out of 12. This is the official finish of the 4x48, 4x4x48 challenge. Oh my gosh. My mind is just like complete mush right now. My legs are mush. I'm laying on grass because it hurts to even walk right now. Um, I gotta get up and go back to the dorm, but um yeah this the mental aspect of this one was crazy like my legs are just completely out of it um again it hurts to walk um i'm tired i knew the challenge was done but like boy this is this is the difference this is what makes the champions i think um i'm really really glad i did this one i did it alone and grinded it out and this is the successful completion of the challenge thank you all right, I, I managed to get up off the grass. Um, now that we have reached the official end of the 4x4x48 challenge, I just wanted to echo a similar message as to like the what's next and the, the takeaway. Um, what's next? I think tomorrow it's just a, a normal day. Again, as I mentioned, there's no prize, there's no trophy for finishing this. Um, and that's good, is that, that I'm really satisfied right now and it's all a product of my efforts, right? And this translates into real life, you know, is like the more you put in, the more you get out. You don't need those external rewards. Um, also, like you can do anything you set your mind to. So for those of you watching, like, tr I don't know how I did this. I don't know what is in me. The pacing has been crazy. I, I, don't, I did not expect to get even close to running 13 out of 12 legs, but thank you for tuning in and I will see you soon.